Well, hey there, guys. It is getting close to the holidays. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've become friends over the years with uh, Andrew the Bearded Giant and Gary the Bearded Woodworker on YouTube. And Gary came up with this great idea this year for the three of us to make each other gifts, film the build, we'll send each other the gifts, and then we'll film the unboxing, if you will, and share it with everybody. And none of us know what the other person's building. But what I'm gonna be doing is turning wooden mallets out of wood that I've milled. I haven't turned wood on a lathe probably for 35 years. I think I was probably a sophomore in high school uh, the last time I did. So I have some cherry wood, I have English walnut, and I have a very special piece of madrone. I'll explain more about that later. So first order, I've got to get these boards ripped into four inch wide strips, planed and glued together. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that the madrone I'm using here is pretty special. This madrone came from a log I milled years ago on my first sawmill. I used lumber from this amazing log to build the front desk in my wife's hair salon. And I also made some live edge shelves that I sold for amounts of money I never thought possible. And that is what got me started in this whole sawmill thing. And this piece here is the very last piece I have of that log.
Now, the English walnut that I put in the center isn't really giving much color contrast, not as much as I had hoped. So I have an idea to add just a little bit of color with a piece of actual black walnut. First thing I wanna trim off these ends, get them flush, both ends actually, and then I will show you my plan. So my plan to add a little bit of character to this, I've cut some strips of black walnut and I want to cut a groove across the top of this so that that will set in there and just give a nice little pop of color. Pop of color. A little bit of cleanup, that should be a pretty nice fit. Might not even have needed glue on that one. Look at that beauty. I bet you it's older than I am. Now, a neighbor to my parents used to make knives in his 
home shop and he also sharpened them and I'm pretty sure that he sharpened these because they are polished. doesn't seem right. Seems like this should spin. I could be wrong, but this end doesn't spin and it seems like it should. Okay, I think I have it figured out. If I don't, I have multiple camera angles to catch the mayhem, so let's see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna plug it in. really got to take small small bites with this lathe that's not very powerful Man, I am enjoying this. Just a little more contrast and color than I was expecting. Man, this is fun. I am definitely gonna upgrade my lathe. Is gonna look good. 
All right, I gotta hang it up for now, but I'm going to be back. That's better. All right, well, I'm glad that I did mine first. I learned a few things. First of all, I've taken a little bit out of the handle. As you can see here, that will save me some time and uh, wear and tear on my tools. I've also mitered these corners off at a 45 also to try and save a little time and not uh, not be so hard on the tools so this one's ready to go I'm gonna get turning I blew it. I shot the unboxing of my gifts from Andrew and Gary and there was no audio. I am here at the coast now. I can't redo it. So I'm going to make the best of the footage I got. I got dressed up and I want to share it. So have a look. Well, first of all, I've got Andrew's gift here. He said that we might have trouble figuring out what it was that he had made until we watched his build video. And he was right. Any guesses as to what they might be? Well, I now know, and I'm gonna let you watch his build video to find out, but they're pretty darn clever. And now, Gary's gift. Gary sent along a very nice Christmas card while I just had my kids color on cardboard. Gary took an old saw blade and some purple heart wood and made a scribing knife and it came out amazing. Here I am demonstrating the perfect scribe. Well guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope everybody's having a good holiday. I know I am. Be sure to check out Andy and Gary's videos. And by the way, today is Andrew's birthday. I think he's like 19. So happy birthday, Andrew. Merry Christmas, everyone. And we will see you soon.